Uh, hi guys, welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, so today we're gonna be doing inverse trigonometric functions. Remember, on the previous video, I did trigonometric functions. So now we're gonna do the inverse of that. Please follow us on the YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. For more updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay. Then here's our first example for inverse trigonometric functions. So we are given this y equals to arc. So this can be written as remember sine to the power negative one can be written as one over sine x or can be written as arc sine x. And then this whole thing arc sine x and 1 over sine x will give you cosec x. 1 over sine x is equal to cosec x. Put that in mind. If you want to write it in a standard form, this is what you get. Cosec x. Okay, guys. So now you are given y equals to arc sine x to the power half okay and then also they gave you this they said let x equals to 1 over 2 after differentiating this you must substitute 1 over 2 where this x okay let's solve this we have to differentiate this so you identify again you identify your f of x from that arc sine x so our f of x is 1 over 2 then the differentiation of that d over dx of that will give you remember the formula x to the power n that's what you're gonna use there so this f prime will be equals to 1 over 2 so you're going to say your n, your n is a half. So if your n is half, guys, if your n is half, you can apply that formula 1 over 2 n multiplied by x to the power n minus 1. So here we're going to get minus half for this one. Then the next thing that you do, you go back to the original formula. You're going to say y equals to sine arc f of x there. And then you differentiate this. You say dy over dx of that. So dy over dx of arc, arc sine f of x. I wrote the formula on the top right corner there. <coughs> you can find this formula on your formula sheet. They wrote it like this. So, on the top right corner, that's your formula that you're going to use. The one in yellow. Oh, just highlighted it in yellow. So, that's the formula that you're going to use. You're going to write that formula. It's f prime of f prime of f of x over square root of 1 minus f of x squared. Okay. So, let's substitute the values there to find our final answer. So, your dy over dx is equals to your f prime. Your f prime, <coughs> we found 1 over 2, x to the power minus 1 over 2. This can be written as 1 over 2. Remember, half is a square root, so you can write x. You can write it like that. The top part. And let's divide there as well. Let's divide here as well. So at the bottom, you've got the square root of, you've got the square root of 1 minus f of x. So your f of x is x to the power half, all squared. And then it will give you, remember, this and this will cancel. 2 and 2 will cancel. So you're going to be left with 1 minus x there. 
will be left with 1 minus x. Okay, and then your dy over the x, your dy over the x there, it will give you, dy over the x will give you, you can, it's not necessary for you to solve this thing further, as long as you leave it this way, it's fine. So your answer is 1 over 2 square root of x over, because there's nothing you can do now, 1 minus x. Or you can do this, you can say it's equals to 1 over, since there's three values that are dividing, you can do this, you can say 2 root x multiplied by the square root of 1 minus x. And then that's how you can write it. That's your final answer there. You can write it this way. That's your answer. If you want to simplify it further, you can write it this way. Okay, let's do our next example. Oh, before we do our next example, guys, remember, remember they gave you x equals to half. So where there is x, you're going to put half. Where there is x, you're going to put half from your final, form, final, final equation. Final answer, rather, you're going to put half where there is x. So let's go ahead and do that gonna put half where there is x so your final answer for dy over the x was equals to 1 over 2 root x open bracket square root of 1 minus x so you put half where there is x so it's 2 1 over 2 1 minus half dy over the x of this you can just you can simply punch this whole thing on the on the calculator there's no need for you to 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 be simplifying it step by step no no no, no. you already done that so you can simply punch this whole thing on the calculator and then your dy over the x will be one will be equals to 1. If you type the whole thing on the calculator, it will give you 1. It will give you 1. Okay. Then one that one will be your final answer. Your dy over the x will be equals to 1. Let's do our next example. Here on our next example, we are given the f of x there as sine x. And then also, they said let x equals to 1 over 2. So let's identify our f of x. It's sine x. And then the f prime of that, or rather the d over dx of this, it will give you, when you differentiate sine, guys, when you differentiate sine, you'll get cos x. You'll get cos x. So this is your f prime of x. Then you go back to your formula, you write arc tan f of x, arc tan f of x. Remember, I told you that for additional information, 1 over tan x, it will give you cot x. This is just additional information, just showing you. Or sometimes they can write actan. If they write actan, you must know that it's 1 over tan. Actan is the inverse. So it's 1 over tan. X. Then sometimes they can say tan to the power minus 1 is the same thing. So the dy over dx of this, let's differentiate. When you differentiate actan f of x, I wrote the formula on the top right there. 
this is the formula you find it on your formula sheet is there so when you differentiate that you're gonna get the f prime of x over 1 plus f of x all squared okay let's go and write our final answer so your dy over the x it will be equals to the f prime of x i'm rewriting that formula plus f of x all squared so your f prime of x now your f prime of x was equals to cos x then you divide it by 1 plus 1 plus your f of x so your f of x what is your f of x your f of x is sine x then you, you square everything there then remember remember x equals to 1 over 2 so you want to say cos into 1 over 2 over 1 plus sine 1 over 2 all squared then you can write your final answer there so x equals to 1 over 2 you substitute 1 over 2 this x so you can just just punch everything on the calculator and guys please make sure that your calculator is in the degree mode there at the top it's written tag otherwise if it's written uh, something else you'll get wrong answers just make sure remember here well you're working with uh, trigonometric functions so don't make that mistake and put the wrong answers you must program your calculator must be programmed in a degree mode just make sure that it's written deck there if it's not written deck just restart it restart your calculator and then it will give you the answer the correct one so if you punch everything on the calculator will get zero point zero point nine 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 so this is equivalent to one so this whole thing will give you one that whole thing will give you one okay then this will be your final answer then if you have got any question guys please text me on whatsapp or you can comment on the section below and if you do need the online sessions or tutorials for maths 1 up to maths 3 engineering mechanics amc or eme 1501 or mathematics n1 up to n6 please dm me do offer online sessions then keep to be kept uh, updated please uh, subscribe to our youtube channel so that you can get more updates once we upload the the videos thank you for watching